So in this video I'm going to show you how to add a sun flare to your image and just below this video you can download the same lens flare so you can add it to yours. Alright so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab my dropper tool and drag and drop this lens flare onto my image. I'm going to go to edit free transform and by doing this I'm able to adjust the length and the width of the flare as well as you know if I want to move it diagonally. I want to bring it to where the light source is kind of connected to it that way it makes it look a little bit more natural. Alright and now I want to go to my layers and if you don't know where your layers box is go to your window in the menu and click on layers. You can also click on F7 and that will also pull up your layers box. Alright so I've got my lens flare layer selected. I'm going to go to my blend mode and I'm going to select screen and as you can see you select screen mode it blends the lens flare and makes it more natural looking. So now that I've done that I can go ahead and adjust it a little bit more I'm going to actually make it a little bit bigger and adjust the opacity. Kind of play around with how it looks a little bit. There we go. And then you can also add a little bit of blur to it if you want just to kind of blend it in a little bit more. And we're going to do one more step and add a slight S curve just to kind of bring it together. There we go. And again, adjust that opacity and lower it down just a smidge more to about 53%. And we've got before and after. Hey everyone, Jackie Jean here. I'm going to show you a quick tutorial using the painted sky overlays. Alright, so I went ahead and I pulled the sky over here. And if you go to your drag tool right here, if you don't have a toolbar that you see, you want to make sure you can go to your window and select tools and your toolbar will come up. So this is the drag and drop tool in that top left corner here. And I'm actually going to drag my sky out my little window over here. So now I've got my picture that I'm going to add the sky to and my sky over here. So I'm just going to drag and drop it on top. Go to Edit, Free Transform, and just adjust it to my image and bring the sky just below the horizon. And go to my Layers, go to my Blend tool and select Multiply. As you can see it just kind of brings it in there. It's really good at just blending like you can still see like the trees and the grass. So I'm just going to bring that down just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blur out my sky just because you want to make sure that the blur is matching the background and that this is really blurry so as far as the depth of field because I shot really wide open on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Go to Edit Free Transform again just to fix that edge. And I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit and let's go ahead and mask that sky layer and make sure that my foreground color is set to black and I'm going to hide the sky. So just masking off the sky off of her. I'm going to reduce that opacity to probably to about 35%. Making sure that my brush is set to 0% hardness. This really helps with the blending. And as you can see, I'm just kind of blending around. I'll lower that opacity a little bit more. 
and changing the brush size so that way it blends in. There we go. So we'll do about 76% on the overall opacity. Again, I'm just working on blending it a little bit more. And reduce that opacity to about 65%. So it's just kind of adding just a nice little bit of sky on there. So it's not totally blown out. Puts more focus on her sweet face. Merge my layer and then you can keep processing, you know, making sure that the sky matches, you know, the image. Like I could just go ahead and run an action set on it real quick so that way you can kind of see. We'll just do a simple right there. So this is simple from the classic collection to just run on there. Just a simple little edit. And then we've got before and after. And I've included some light leaks to go with the Painted Skies collection. And this one, just, just for fun, there's a whole bunch of different light leaks, different looks. We've got some sun flares, some light streams, and just different light effects overall. I'm going to go ahead and pick this, another image to put it on. And so with the overlays, what you're going to do, these are different from the skies. I'm just going to grab this. And just again drag and drop. Go to edit and free transform where you want it. Go to my layers and instead of choosing the blend mode of multiply, I'm going to choose the blend mode of screen. You can see it adds just that nice little light leak right there. You can kind of move it anywhere you want on the image. I'm going to put it right there. Lower that opacity a little bit. Just give it a little bit of light and done. Alright, so to find out more you can click on the link below to see more before and afters from this set. Thank you!